I've been hanging out in this neighborhood now for the past 20 years, which is wild to think about. We went to Third Wheel Cheese, which is on 50th and Baltimore in West Philly. Um, it's owned by this awesome chick named Anne, and she got into cheese because she loves supporting local agriculture and is now the owner of her own business. And today we're trying a cheese called Brieba. This is a small batch goat cheese that is made with the style of brie, and then it's also been inoculated with some blue cheese. So that's why we're seeing like some of the blue in there. It's gonna be fatty, it's gonna be creamy, it's gonna be farmy because of the blue and the goat coming together. So what I wanted to make sure I did was get a beverage that had high carbonation, because um, high carbonation cuts the fattiness and creaminess for food and beverage pairings. Yeah. Um, so I decided to go with a Belgian triple uh, by Unibrew. Unibrew is a Canadian brewery. Um, and then this is a Belgian style triple. So when I smell it, like I like smell the heat, like I smell that it's gonna be boozy. I take a sip and then I take a bite and then, and then I take another sip and see how they've interacted. If you're ever like at a restaurant or out trying something and you only have one bite or one sip, you're doing yourself a disservice. Have at least three sips. Oh my god, this is one of my favorite beers and it's always so good. It's a great go-to. So I'm getting like floral, herby, just, it just tastes like a Belgian beer. Um, Belgian beers are just known to be like farmy and have a ton of different botanicals in them because Belgian brewers usually, uh, brew beer as a secondary job. They're usually like farmers or artisans or bakers and then they happen to brew beer. So whatever they have on hand, like in their personal farms or gardens, they're just throwing into that beer. So that's what I love about Belgian beer is there's like so much flexibility with it and Belgians just do whatever they want, which I love. <laughs> It's so interesting tasting like a brie and a blue hybrid, but it's goat based. It's like there's so much going on here, but it is very fatty and creamy. It definitely has a little bit of funk from the blue. What's cool is like all of this came from like plants and animals and like terroir is an actual thing that influences like everything that we eat. And I think in this country, there's so much disconnect of like what we eat and what it is and where it comes from. Yeah. Um, and so I have just been leaning more into just trying craft and artisan made food and beverage because there's a lot of heart in it and it just tastes better. Like you're getting what you pay for. Uh, I would rather not eat cheese at all than buy like store bought deli cheese at this point. It's not good, it's not good for the environment, the animals aren't being treated well, um, so I would rather just have less of something than uh, just contribute to that because it's just, it's not a pleasant experience, but yeah.